There's a great story in the mail. This is a great story. This is Bling Lear. They've rewritten Shakespeare, okay, into Chav speak for the youth. For the youth. Right. <laughs> Weekly. Great story. Martin Baum, a, a, an author, has really said, I want to make William Shakespeare well wicked. Okay, right. so what he's done, he's changed Romeo and Juliet into Romeo and his fit bitch Jules. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the first, this is how he describes it. It begins, Verona was the turf of the feuding Montagues, the Capulet families, and because there was always brawling and stuff, the Prince Verona told him to cool it or else it was going to get well mashed. <laughs> <laughs> if they carried on larging it with each other. Okay. <laughs> it, ends up, it ends up, they all end up happy and harmony, except for Romeo and his bitch Jules, because they was both well dead. <laughs> You've got Julius Caesar as well. Give it's us a bit of that. That's fun, doesn't it? Other plays include Much Ado About Soddle. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Othello. <laughs> the Happy Bitches of Windsor. <laughs> Do Geezers of Verona. <laughs> My favourite, All Sweet That Ends Sweet. In it. <laughs> You can imagine Shakespeare now oh. turning in his grave. <laughs> Mind you, it's probably more understandable. My, yeah. my boy did at Hamlet, not Hamlet, he did uh, Romeo and Juliet last year at school, and he's dyslexic, Tom. He hadn't got a clue what he was reading, and he asked me to help him, and I read it thinking, Tom, I don't got a clue either. either. <laughs> <laughs> now it'll be fine. <laughs> nice one, guys. Thanks for that.